So let's talk about the age of discovery in Europe, where <clears throat> which starts in 1492 and is uh, considered to be ended by 1522. So we know that uh, Christopher Columbus was uh, funded by the Spanish uh, monarchs uh, to go west, but this was motivated by the fact that by early 15th century, the Byzantine Empire had uh, become uh, almost small around Constantinople and surrounded by Ottomans. Ottomans eventually uh, uh, took over Constantinople, which made eastward trading very difficult for uh, the Europeans. So they started to look for other routes from the western direction. And the uh, voyages of Christopher Columbus to the Americas is obviously already well known. We mentioned it uh, in the context of how Vikings were there before. There are some claims that the Chinese were also there before, but nonetheless, uh, Columb Christopher Columbus mistakenly assumed that he had reached India because of this error made in the calculation of the, the circumference of the Earth during uh, Ptolemy's time. And the further explorations, much more systematic explorations, are attributed to Ferdinand Magellan, uh, who went around the uh, globe and by the time he reached uh, Pacific Island in 1521, uh, he got killed in a battle. We'll see in a map in a little bit that he went through uh, South America through a strait that now is named after him called the Magellan Strait that links the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific uh, Ocean. Uh, Juan Sebastian del Caño completed the navigation that uh, Ferdinand Magellan had started uh, in 1522, got back to the base, and then the uh, voyages actually made Spaniards uh, the kings of the seas, and they started looting gold from Incas and Mayas, and eventually it's the English that defeated the Spanish Armada, the Spaniards underestimated the rough weather in the English Channel, and so on, and then England became uh, the emperor of the world, as they used to say, sun never sets on uh, the British Empire, right? So those are the times of the uh, uh, age of discovery. And here are the routes taken by Columbus and Magellan. So 1492, Columbus started on August 3rd, uh, made it there in uh, by October, assumed that he had reached India, he came back and then he made, uh, I think, almost eight uh, total number of voyages. Uh, uh, it's only much later on that Amerigo Vespucci actually uh, set foot on the uh, mainland of North America. Christopher Columbus actually never did. Uh, here is the route taken by Magellan going south across the Atlantic through what is now the Magellan Strait on over to uh, many Pacific islands. Uh, Magellan got killed somewhere here around uh, the Philippines, and then the voyage was continued by Del Cano and returned to uh, Europe uh, in 1522, uh, September 1522. So that's a two-year uh, voyage that was completed. And then the voyages became much more of scientific expedition because the English wanted to retain their maritime uh, superiority. So Captain James Cook, uh, during the 18th century, undertook three scientific voyages, uh, huge labs in the basements of the uh, ships, lots of scientists on board, lots of instruments, a lot of water samples collected. So HMS Endeavour, uh, Resolution and Adventure mapped many islands uh, of the Pacific. They systematically measured ocean characteristics. They lowered ropes and took bathymetry and collected uh, water samples, looked at biology, uh, recorded lots of interesting uh, life forms, uh, autotrophs, heterotrophs, and so on. And they also uh, uh, were benefiting from the so-called marine chronograph, uh, which I mentioned briefly before. So if, you if you're going north-south, you can easily use the polar star as a reference to figure out latitude. But if you're going east-west, then it is very difficult to know where you are. So you need a reference time from a reference longitude. And the British had set up a prize for anybody who would design a chronograph that would remain stable and function well 
on a ship. Uh, John Harrison did that. Uh, he worked on it for a decade and actually produced a really functional chronograph that was then used by people like James Cook and uh, the navies uh, to dominate the world ocean. So here are the multiple uh, voyages taken by James Cook. You can see uh, how many wanderings they did in the middle of the Pacific and remembering that it was a scientifically designed expedition, you can imagine the amount of information th that they collected. James Cook also got killed on uh, one of the voyages. Uh, the voyages always uh, came with uh, 